return. Celtic mark Tommy Burns' first match back after three years with an emphatic win. It was all the more poignant given that Tommy Johnson, his final signing before being dismissed, scored his first hat-trick for the club. Helping out at Celtic Park since the sacking of John Barnes, it must have felt like old times for Burns as Johnson looked more like the player that had been brought to the club almost three years ago. Doug Leash had food poisoning, but will have been pleased by Burns' report. Celtic were three up on 36 minutes thanks to Mark Viduka. It was fast becoming a rout. Asilian Petrov made it 4-0 with 43 minutes on the clock. Dundee had conceded six in the first half against the Rangers on Sunday, and when Stefan Mai was tripped for a penalty right on half-time, they must have been thinking, here we go again, especially when Viduka slotted home number five his 24th of the season. The Celtic fans were even more delighted when Brazilian Rafael made his long-awaited debut after the break, and he set his sights on the old firm clash next week, one to watch according to Burns. Yeah, he's a special player, Rafael, he really has a lot of uh, real good quality, and I think once we get him fit into the shape of the team and he knows what it's about, I think we'll see a real benefit of him then. Dundee never stopped fighting, Hugh Robertson pulled one back with a screamer, although their manager, Jockey Scott, was so upset by the result, he refused to face the media. It wasn't long, though, before Tommy Johnson again took Burns down memory lane, completing his hat-trick. You can see you're to be here, and sometimes you're not saying you ever wonder if you actually were here. I think life's like that in football. It just seems to, to go, and you're, you're forgotten about it very quickly in football. So the fact that you get the opportunity to come back and play so well, uh, very nice, very nice. James Grady grabbed another consolation goal for Dundee, Although with one win in 12, they're in deep trouble. Celtic, though, await Hibs at the weekend, followed by Rangers next Wednesday. Now eight points behind them. Tommy Blink, Sky Sports.